I think we nailed it with this one. This Who Would Win of the Week is Maggie Simpson versus Tommy Pickles from Rugrats. Okay, go ahead, Matthew. Um, what to say. Well, I just want to say, I'm going to say two things quick, and then I'm going to toss it back to both you guys. I'm excited for this one because as far as The Simpsons goes and cartoons in general, you two are probably have the most like information specifically on The Simpsons. Um, I know who I'm going to pick, but I want to hear everything that you guys have to say before I either join your team or burst your bubble because <laughs> everybody knows that my pick is always the correct pick um, on who, is one of the, who would win of the week. So um, how about we jump to uh, – well, well, we'll go Andy, make some starting points, then we'll get into Derek, and, and we'll go from there. Okay. I am not going to say – who I'm picking out. I'm not even sure if I'm decided. I don't want to, you know, I want to look at this objectively. I don't want to necessarily bring my love for either of these shows into it because Rugrats obviously classic. That's a sick show. Um, we know, okay, Tommy Pickles. Tommy Pickles is um, not only incredibly brave, but he's also incredibly, uh, uh, he is, um, there's an ingenuity to him, right? He's he's a tinkerer. He's got his, his trusty screwdriver, gets him through all situations. Uh, he's a very technical thinker and technically minded uh, person, I think, when he approaches problems. And he also obviously has a pretty good grasp on, you know, me mechanical elements, um, things of that nature. Maggie Simpson is a straight-up savage. I mean, she shot straight Mr. Badass. Birds. Um, yep. She has achieved multiple feats that, I mean, just of, of athletic prowess and obviously mental capacity that uh, it's difficult. I mean, I, it's hard to see any baby um, ever achieving, um, even in a cartoon, I guess. I don't, um, so I, I think that they've got two different skill sets, uh, two different approaches in this fight. Um, and I think either one could deserve to come out on top, certainly. Yeah. I have, probably like you, Andy, more knowledge on Maggie Simpson than I do Tommy Pickles. Um, but I guess, yeah, taking the objective course and looking at both of them. Uh, and first off, Maggie, like you said, straight savage. She's a badass. She scared the mob off with a shotgun. She rallied up a whole daycare to help her escape. <coughs> she shot Mr. Burns. She saved Homer from drowning. Like, it's just, she's driven cars before. Like, it's, there's no shortage of Maggie doing things that are so beyond normal infants. For a baby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Tommy Pickles. Yeah. I, I, when I think of him, and I haven't watched really the Rugrats a lot since I was younger, but I used to watch it all the time. I mean, Tommy Pickles, to me, he was the leader. He was, just the alpha of the Rugrats group. I mean, he was the go-to guy. And like you said, he's got a very technical prowess. And, you know, he's also got the whole speech thing on his side. Tommy can speak. <laughs> now, when you're, when, when you're looking at fighting and combat and who would win, uh, you know, your first assumption wouldn't always go to speech. But I think that that might be something that might play into it. Just showing that Tommy is a little bit more advanced when it comes to motor skills and uh, uh, just, I guess, brain maturity. So what I want to say, and I, I do already have my mind made up, but the thing about who would win of the week is there's no weapons, right? Like, we'll, you know, there's been conversation of, well, do we tell them beforehand so they have time to prepare? So if you want to say that that aids to Tommy – then we say, yeah, we could give him some time to prepare. But at the end of the day, there's not weapons. Well, I'll so say, I don't much think that he does, does his... need the time to prepare. Because part of his technical thinking is adapting and thinking very quickly. Like, okay. I think that he has okay. shown, uh, you know, in the Rugrats series, that he can, you know, look at a problem and pretty quick, you know, pretty quickly analyze it very well and figure out a solution. But given he doesn't necessarily have the ability to tinker or change anything in the situation other than 
It's just because, you know what I mean? It's just going to be him and Maggie. He doesn't have time to come up with something, build something, create something that's going to help him win this fight. And I do think that his ability, his critical thinking ability as a child, as a baby, cannot be, like, underlooked. Because when you look at Maggie, yes, she's a savage, but you also, I feel like Maggie does things without thinking and does sometimes put herself in situations where then she has to get out of them because she did stuff without first considering what would happen. Whereas that's not something that Tommy would, Tommy would not find himself in that position as a baby, right? right. He would, you know, he, he would think before he does it. However, that sometimes could work in a fight to Maggie's advantage. If she's willing to just be that savage that we say she is and go out there and just, Falls to the wall, go right at him, kick his ass, fights over quick. But if she doesn't react in that way, I think that if she at all takes foot off the gas, then Tommy would have the opportunity to use his ability to critical think to then manipulate Maggie into a position where he wins that fight. So then, so the point of this was you have to think, well, is Maggie's sheer ability to be a savage going to outweigh Tommy's ability to think? Mm -hmm. I will say this about Maggie. She is extremely agile. She's yes. able to swing off any obstacle around the room and yeah. use that to her advantage. I don't think Tommy has the mobility. I mean, look at the intro to Rugrats. He can barely <laughs> walk. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, Maggie point. having Maggie having that ability, I think, would work insanely in a fight where, you know, maybe they didn't have weapons or, you know, they had very little time to prepare, um, you know, whatever the circumstances are. I think I think Maggie has the ability to move and has and use the environment to her advantage. But then, yeah, then I guess, you know, looking at Tommy in that situation, I don't know if he's going to be able to defend Maggie flying around the ceiling fan and then onto the, the record player and then back at him and stuff. I, I don't know. Yep. I think that that might be where for me, the, the, the tables start to turn a little bit. That's an excellent point about Maggie's athleticism. Oh man, this is a tough one. I will say this. I think Maggie is very smart. Um, we know this. She knows not only how to handle herself when she's in just about any situation, she also knows when to get out of any bad situation. Tommy does not know when to give up. Tommy, to me, the best, the most accurate way I can kind of describe the way I see Tommy's approach to fighting is um like uh an anime type well, I know how thing. I see like I've I see never, Tommy fighting I would just like want to finish Sherlock. this thought just to clarify okay. that but that's but we'll go to that because that's interesting but now I've not seen really any anime but what I've seen is a lot of guys who are like really like beat up and then they're like looking down and like huh. And then there's another guy who's like, how did he get up? And he's like, I, the power of friendship or something like that. I'm pretty sure I just wrote the best anime of all time. Um, but that's what Tommy, that's what Tommy is. Um, and even if his friends aren't there, obviously this is a one-on-one -on -one battle. He can, not to be cheesy, but he carries that strength with, with him. He's got the moral strength. The strength absolutely. Of, yeah. What I was going to say though, to chime in is, and then after this, I'll I'll give my pick. I didn't want to lead on too early in the conversation because that sways Andrew's opinion. Um, <laughs> Tommy, I feel like, would be like a Sherlock Holmes type fighter. Like if you've seen those Sherlock Holmes movies with Robert Downey Jr., where like he's calculating, like I'm going to hit him here. That's going to do this to him, and then I smack him here. He's going to come at me with this, and then I do this. Like I think he's, you know what I mean. Like I think he he he's he has the, the plan. But I don't think that it would be enough to match, as Derek said, Maggie's athleticism based on, like, with, on top of, or however you want to say it, her just past of being 
for lack of a better term, a savage. So I think my pick here is going to be Maggie Simpson, but I don't think that it's going to be an easy fight because I don't think that Tommy's going to lay down. And I think that he is going to have the opportunity to inflict a lot of pain on Maggie. But I think at the end of the day, Maggie is just going to pick herself off the ground and snap his neck and call it a day. Like, all right, that's tough. To, think, that's a tough uh, point to argue. I, I think uh, I think my pick is Maggie. However, the caveat I will say is that the beginning of that fight would be extremely important because I think as we kind of touched on, Maggie would come out with a lot. And if Tommy, you know, is able to counter that in some way and swing the momentum early on, I think he's got a pretty fair shot in the fight. But despite that, my pick's still with Maggie. She's just a freak of nature. I, I do I do agree though that I think that depending on the start of the fight the the tables could turn either way you know it depends on if Maggie comes out hot early but again I, I and I just think back to the point you made because I I liked Maggie coming into the fight but I was almost talking myself out of it but mm-hmm. the point you made about her agility and her athleticism yeah Tommy doesn't have that I mean yeah he has the ability to think but how you know. You gotta execute. Right. How how far is that gonna go for him when, wow. when Maggie comes out? That's yeah, true. exactly. You gotta execute. Um Andy. Man. This is this is Don't even f- a tough fight. Uh Matthew, relax. <laughs> I think one of the things and I wanna say this, we've seen Maggie do a lot of crazy stuff. Tommy is certainly more tame in most of the situations we see him in. However, in the Rugrats movie, they do like the, these babies get like lost in the forest and they fight monkeys and stuff like that. I'm just remembering that now. That's why I'm bringing it up. Um, so he has had, and they get lost in Paris and the one, a lot of stuff. So he's had a few instances where his stuff is, you know, almost on par with some of the things that Maggie has done. Um, he's never shot in a billionaire, but I mean, <laughs> we can all dream. Um, the thing about Tommy Pickles, who I'm slowly realizing may be my personal hero, is that we've seen him um, in any situation that he finds himself in, he's able to adapt so quickly. You know, uh, frickin' Angelica is causing a ruckus, his dog Spike gets loose. Uh, monkeys are messing with his baby brother, there's a toy lost, you know, his best buddy Chucky is having, like, a panic attack. Um, Tommy has always risen to the occasion. And... That being said... Oh my God, I'm being... I did not think I would be torn up so much about this one. Um... I just feel like, you know, it's tough because there's no situation that I can articulate necessarily that would prove this point. But I do think that Tommy would rise to this challenge and somehow be able to physically stop Maggie Simpson. I do think that somehow he would find a way to win this fight. That's what my gut is saying. That's what I am going to go with. Um... Yeah, I believe I believe in Tommy Pickles. Vote for him, twenty twenty. I um, <coughs> Andy, I do think it would be a close fight. I'm not going to come at you for your reasoning behind picking Tommy. Oh no, no, I'm not going to come at you for him. I'm going to come at you for your reasoning because you know, and don't even try to tell me that this isn't true. You know damn well that if Derek and I didn't come out here and pick Maggie, you would have picked Maggie. If I would if I would have said I think Tommy wins that fight, you would have picked Maggie. You don't have any integrity for the game. I can see it in your face. Wow. How dare yeah. you? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You're saying I don't have any integrity of who would win of the week? Yeah. Integrity is all there is in, in this game, the, Matthew. You're in it for the No, you're in it for the controversy. You like to stir the pot. And the thing is, the pot always bites in the ass. Just join the winning side. I understand. You if want I me thought to just that succeed? you really no. 
No, but if I thought that you genuinely thought that Tommy Pickles would win that fight, I would have no problem with it. And that's and you'd think that I'm just making. See, it I up. under I understand what's going on here because <laughs> no one likes a landslide, right? So I don't I don't know. I Matt, you're his yeah. brother. You are in touch with these but, yeah Derek he, 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 he swung a baseball at bat at my head that's not true he Matt you did that bat to me no <laughs> and you tell me I don't I can't tell his emotions like he swung a baseball bat Matthew you at my threw head and that bat the wall. at me no that hole was See? in the wall because that's where the bat landed when you threw it at my head and I had to hide behind the couch because it was up against the wall in a History. very weird way well, the, history the, is written by the successor, isn't that? A, isn't that a saying? History. The relationship is by the winner. <laughs> the relationship of Matthew and Andrew very much borders that of the Joker and Batman. I will say. <laughs> oh my gosh! And yeah, I'm but Batman. I'm the Joker. Yeah, <laughs> you are absolutely. The I like not only that we both picked the like. <laughs> Not that we are those, but that we each wanted to be that one. Yes. You're like, I'm Batman. Yeah. <laughs> and Matt starts laughing. You are Andy. Because like, <laughs> when I said that, I was like, if Matthews might try to be Batman here, and that's just not true. But nope, he's like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm the Joker. Oh but the God, thing I'm is, you're Batman. not Batman either. Yes, I am. You're not the Dark Knight. You have no idea. I've got <laughs> I've got so many levels to me, Matthew. See, that's Batman, the, the real oh. Batman would have a similar situation. No one would know. Everyone would think he's just Bruce Wayne. I mean, but... That's exactly right. I'm just humble old Andy Canada, okay? And that's the way I like people to think about it. All right. If they only Well, do. let's go around one more time, lock in our answers. Um, I'm taking Maggie. It's all... You know what? Let's, let's let Andy decide here. He can be the second one. Because you know what my answer is going to be. That doesn't even matter. Yeah, right? but I want. I want. And look at him fucking think about changing his goddamn answer, folks. You guys can't see us unless you're watching this the on thing, YouTube. I've never but seen Tommy dumb. Pickles lose, and Maggie Simpson has walked away from situations. I'm sure. All right. Well, then make your pick. I'm going with the power of friendship. I'm going with Tommy Pickles. But oh. you thought about it. I well because it's such a close fight. And, man, there is part, like, uh, if, it's, if we're just thinking about it physically, Maggie Simpson would beat the absolute shit out of Tommy Pickles. Yeah. But I think there's more to it than that. At least in my mind yeah, in this fight, it, there's more to it than that. Oh, there's always and more. With those, there's, you and know. with those other factors, Tommy Pickles comes out on top. But... And I don't know the dimensions of either of them, but I would assume they're about the same size. Probably. Tommy Pickles' head, though, is massive. It is. If he ha if he gets a headbutt in, <laughs> right? She's. A, that <laughs> might be his one saving grace. Yeah, but yeah. but she, Maggie's pretty much wearing a mouth guard at at you know what she I mean? Is. If she's, yeah, that's yeah. true. Well, I don't know if teeth is a big factor for either of them. No, but no, it's it, you know mouth guards stop your jaw from from you right, know really right. compressing when you get hit in the head, and that that can go a long way. Derek? I got to lock it in. My girl, Maggie Simpson. All right. And that's what I thought. But as always, you will be able to vote on social media, even though I'm sure Maggie Simpson will still win. I do think this is a close fight, though. 